We just got the nation's report card and math and reading scores have plummeted thanks to school COVID-19 lockdowns and America's parents are also worried about all the other things that kids are being taught instead. Here's a panel of Republicans and Democrats on another network. Watch this. We should be pushing the actual school studies, math, social studies, science, not, you know, gender studies. You can teach them one thing at home, but when they go to school, they're just as much influenced by their teachers and their surroundings. Joe Concha, author of Come On Man, joins us now. Okay, so Joe, fourth grade math scores have dropped by five points since this test was last administered. And then eighth grade math scores, it fell by a whopping eight points. And then the reading scores declined three points all across the board. What do you have to say about this? Yeah. And did you see this coming? Well, this report card is, is devastating, and yes, we did see it coming, right? I mean, as a parent of young children who lived through lockdowns, remote learning, masking our children for far too long in schools, the, the fact that this report card shows the largest drops ever recorded in fourth and eighth grade math, it, it's shocking, but it's not surprising. And not one politician, one senior member of the teachers' union has apologized, by the way. So, look, inflation, crime, gas prices, the border, they're all going to be big issues in 15 days when people go to the polls on Election Day. But but what happened to our children in schools and keeping them out is something that parents, voters, they have not forgotten. They're going to make their voices heard about two weeks from now, guys. I want to get to the midterm elections, Joe, because we're getting down to the wire about yeah. 15 days out. New polling shows voters trust the GOP to handle the country's top issues, such as inflation and crime, the most. And now House Speaker Nancy yeah. Pelosi is responding to that. Her strategy is to just talk about something else. Watch this. It's about getting out the vote. Everything else is a conversation compared to that. The fact is, is that uh, when I hear people talk about inflation, as I heard them there, we have to change that subject. Inflation is a global phenomenon. phenomenon. Well, Joe, they are trying to change the subject to abortion and the <laughs> mega mega trickle down stuff, but it's yeah. not working here. Look at the polling here. It's amazing. I mean, Republicans are trusted by well over double digits as far as their ability to handle inflation or gas prices or crime. And save the tape, by the way, Carly and Ashley. Nancy Pelosi's days as House Speaker are numbered. A red tsunami is coming. Inflation will be the primary driver behind Nancy Pelosi's retirement. But but it's ultimately the messaging from Democratic leaders that will ultimately do this party in. I mean, here you have the president of the United States who insists that we're at zero inflation or that inflation is only up a little bit when it's up 8.5 percent. You have a House speaker who does not believe that inflation and crime are the two biggest issues that will impact the election. And like an alcoholic, the first way you tackle the problem is to admit you have a problem. And Democrats, at least most of them, refuse to admit that people are feeling severe economic pain when they pay for food or clothes or rent or their electric bill or, or gas. And when the GOP takes back the House, Nancy Pelosi, who's now, what, 82 years old, will likely retire. Save the tape. Do you save tapes? I believe we save tapes around here. Well, you know, I don't think we have tapes anymore, Joe. It's 2022. Oh, <laughs> you know, I've aged myself. Thank Nancy you, Carly. Nancy Pelosi, she says that she's not worried about it, but Bernie Sanders, he was singing from a completely different book yeah. about that. He is worried about especially the young Democratic voter turnout. So we'll see what happens. Exactly. Joe, we have to leave it there. Indeed. Thank you so much for waking up with us on this fine Monday morning. As always, we appreciate it. Thanks, Joe. And the pleasure is all on this side of the table. Believe me. Oh, Thank you, Carly. God Thank bless. you, Ashley. Thank you so much. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.